Hello everyone, we are from AR Finance. Today we will be conducting fundamental analysis of Indian company which is into technology, engineering, construction, manufacturing, financial services and almost into everything. Company has approximate employee strength of 338,000. This company has presence in 47 countries. AM Nayak is group chairman. SN Subramaniam is managing director and CEO. And R Shankar Raman is CFO. If your guess is LNT, then you are 100% right. This company was founded in 1938 by two Danish engineers, Henning Hulk Larsen and Soren Christian Tubro. Important points of our analysis are journey of LNT. Mergers, market share, revenue mix, financials, ratio analysis, investors view, and summary. Company overview. So let's start from start. This company started as a representative of Danish manufacture of dairy and allied equipment. But during World War II, LNT faced various restrictions for their business, and during wartime, need of repair to various damaged ships gave opportunity to LNT, because of which they formed new company to handle these operations. After few months, suddenly German engineers were present in British India due to suspicions caused by the Second World War, who were to put up a soda ash plant for the Tatas, gave LNT a chance to enter the field of installation. In 1944, partners of LNT founded a company named ECC whose main aim was to focus on construction projects and they required huge funds for these projects. So on 7th February 1946, Larsen & Tubro Private Limited was incorporated and in December 1950, LNT became Private Limited Company. After that, company started growing. In 1965, LNT had been chosen as a partner for building nuclear reactors. During the 1970s, LNT was contracted to work with Indian Space Research Organization. In 1972, when India launched its space program, LNT was invited to participate. In 1976, ECC tried to bid for a large airport project in Abu Dhabi. ECC's balance sheet did not meet the bid's financial qualification requirement, so it was merged into LNT. ECC was eventually named as LNT Construction and now accounts for the largest slice of group's annual revenue. In 1985, LNT entered into a partnership with Defense Research and Development Organization. LNT was not yet allowed by the government to manufacture defense equipment but was permitted to participate in design and development programs with DRDO. After a series of successes and positive policy initiatives, LNT today makes a range of weapon and missile systems command and control systems, engineering systems, and submarines through DRDO. Projects Statue of Unity, Vankhade Stadium, Mumbai Airport, Kakrapar Power Plant Gujarat are such projects in which LNT contributed are still considered as milestone in the history of heavy construction. And currently, LNT is working on various projects such as the Mumbai Trans Harbour Link is 21.8 km freeway graded road bridge which connects Mumbai with Navi Mumbai. Underground tunnels of the Mumbai Metro project, depot at Riyadh Metro in Saudi Arabia. Mergers So start with evolution of LNT through their mergers in which first they started with LNT Ramball Consulting Engineers Limited was established in 1990 as LNT Rambol Consulting Engineers Limited. The company became the wholly owned subsidiary of LNT in September 2014. LNT Komatsu Limited was a joint venture of Larsen and Tubro and Komatsu Asia Pacific Limited, Singapore. Mind Tree. In June 2019, the company acquired a controlling stake in IT services company Mind Tree Limited. Share. LNT is a MNC who is operating in various markets throughout the globe and holds very reasonable market share in various industries. In India, LNT is into major nuclear projects and holds 51% of share. LNT holds 13% market share in farm equipment's finance segments 
which was result of partnership with Sonalika Group. LNT through LNT Finance holds 8% of market share in two wheeler finance segment. LNT Mutual Funds holds 3% of market share and their ASM is approximately 70,192 crore rupees. Revenue breakup product wise. In year 2020, LNT generated revenue from various products such as infrastructure, power, heavy engineering, defense power, electrical automation and others. LNT generates 46% of its revenue from infrastructure development such as construction of Mumbai Metro, Statue of Unity, Metro facilities. Revenue breakup location wise. In year 2020, LNT generated revenue from various countries such as India, UAE, Qatar, Kuwait and other countries. LNT generates approximately 67% of its revenue from India only. Financial sales. As per yearly sales of LNT, we can see that LNT is trying to boost their sales every year. And as per quarterly results, sales of LNT affected very much because of pandemic. If we compare quarterly result of September 2019 with September 2020, then there is a fall in sales as LNT earns major portion of its revenue from India. Sales have been growing approximately 6.9% annually. Financials Profit after tax As per annual data, PAT is increasing annually. But if we compare quarterly data, we can see that in quarter June and September, PAT is not so promising. This is because of sales have been fallen in these quarter and interest on debt and depreciation on asset is fixed. So these losses are basically due to impact of pandemic. From last five years, PAT has been growing at 14% annually. Financials, debt and interest. As per available data, company is taking more debt and paying more interest every year in order to finance its growth and its debt to equity ratio is also increasing. This may be bad sign for investor but as far LNT is concerned, we can see that LNT enjoys market premium because LNT is the company who is earning something from every type of construction and development available in the country and focusing to grab global market too. Ratio Earning per share LNT is trying to maintain constant growth in their EPS value which gives green flag for investment purpose. Ratio Price earning ratio As per annual report 2020, P is to E ratio of LNT is 11.86 whereas sector P is to E ratio is 27.06 which is positive point for investors. Lower the P is to E ratio better for investment. Ratio Return on capital employed On an average, company is providing 14% return on their capital from last 5 years and company's ROCE is increasing every year that show company's efficiency. Investors view Share price In last 5 years, share price of LNT has increased to 57.29% from 824.56 to 1297 in last 5 years. Investors view Dividend LNT is constantly distributing dividend from last 10 years. In 2018-19, company distributed dividend approximately 2596.78 crore rupees. And in 2019-20, company distributed dividend approximately 4158.83 crores, which shows that company is constantly distributing part of profit among investors. Investors view Shareholding pattern There are no promoters holding in LNT. Major of the shares are in possession with FII, mutual funds and insurance companies. LIC holds approximately 15% of holding in LNT. Larger institutional holdings shows confidence in the company. Summary Company is operating into various sectors such as technology, engineering, construction, manufacturing, financial services and almost into everything which shows companies trying to grab the available opportunity in the market.
LNT has market capital approximately 1,82,132 crores and LNT is biggest company in its sector which holds approximately 57% of market share. High institutional holdings. Stock has given capital appreciation approximately equal to 57.29% in last 5 years. Sales have been growing by approximately 6.9% annually. Constant dividend from last 10 years. High debt to equity leverage. On average, company is providing 12% average return on equity from last 5 years. We can see that company is stable for investment and will be in more demand due to various projects like smart cities. Investors can invest in this company.